I've always kind of wanted to go and run, but there was one thing which was preventing me from doing that. That was COVID, and <laughs> thankfully now the cases are going low, and that's the reason why I'm starting this. So the cool story behind this is there's this doctor from Mamsi. His name is Dr. Himanshu Gupta, and he added a story that really motivated me. The story was, did you give two minutes to your body today? And that really questioned me. Ever since I saw that story, I have had this motivation to go and run. 45 minutes done, I'm back home. Around 15 days ago, I ended my second year MBBS examinations, as you all know. But today, I've got my ENT paper for the first term of third year. Can you imagine? 15 days before, I was in second year, and now I'm giving the term exam. That is a six-month exam for third year. But the paper is online, at least that's a relief. And now I'm going to start preparing for it. Please stay over here. I'm going to take a shower. I'll be right back. Um, 30 minutes to go for the ENT paper. And I am ready. I've got all my sheets over here. So what I was doing over there was that uh, recently my app Exxon got launched. I get a lot of emails replying to them and uh, looking at how the sales are doing and how everything is going on, whether the team is working smoothly or not. So that is my job to make sure that every piece of this uh, maze is working properly. I have got this thing, film and shoot schedule for this month, August. I'm kind of ready for ENT. I've already studied it using Marrow and it's an online one. So we all know how that's going to go. Now I'm going to go and give the paper. Here we go. Hi everyone, I just finished with my ENT paper. It's 12.45 right now. First of all, I'm gonna have lunch uh, while watching something. And then I have to work on a few facts and uh, some question banks for Axon. And after that, I'll have some free time for myself. So this is basically how my day is going every single day ever since the launch has happened because we have to work every day. And uh, one of my teammates has her exams, so she can't work. So I have to take her responsibility. So basically it's a long story. I have a lot of work, let's do it. Right, so third year I started and this is my plan about how I'm going to nail it, ace it, whatever you want to call it. So first of all, there are basically three subjects in third year that we have. We've got ENT, Ophthalm, and then we've got PSM. So these are the three main subjects of third year and I'm allowing myself three months to more or less complete all of these, at least first reading. And if everything goes right, this should be very easy to do. I've got a lot of time in my hands and why not utilize it to study all of these subjects. Apart from that, uh, the resources that I'm going to be using in third year are first of all for END, I'm going to be using the book Dingra, Ophthalm, Kurana and Parsons and PSM uh, Park as well as the IIPSM book. So these are the three subjects and these are the books that I'm going to be using three months at a time. Apart from that, I'm also going to be adding marrow lectures to it and QBanks, etc. all of that stuff. What makes these three subjects so special is that I'm also going to have to study it for my next examination, which is going to be held before the January of 2023. That means I'll have to face it. And that's why these are really important. The daily schedule that third year is going to bring is first of all postings. Then we will have lectures in our colleges, of course. Then I'll be back home and then I'll have to study. Apart from all of this, I'll also have to manage my YouTube bags on everything. So this is the thing which I'll have to follow. What I need to uh, realize over here is that postings are supposed to be much, much important than lectures. The reason is here, I'm going to learn the maximum about what is going to happen. So what next did is that it is commencing before the internship. So the only clinical exposure that I'm going to be getting is the postings. So in the third year, I'll try my best to do every single posting that we've got, every single posting that I can possibly do. And that should cover up the gap that is present due to COVID. So postings, lectures, home, and then study. What I want to emphasize over here is that study. I am a very strong believer of long-term effort. And hence the study part over here is something which I'll have to dedicate like three or four hours every single day to studies. Why study for such a less duration, Anuj? People can ask me, but the thing is I'll study in the flow state not just blindly reading flow state is a state where you isolate only you and your book and nothing else matters and at that time your efficiency is the maximum so studying with maximum efficiency for three hours is equivalent to like studying with minimal efficiency for a lot of time coming to this part this is the lectures so what happened in first year and second year 
was that I don't know what to do about them because this is something which you have to do. But it's a personal opinion. I don't like lectures. I don't like sitting in one place for so many hours and just studying and studying. I need a lot of breaks in between. So lectures, I'll have to do it. So this is the daily schedule for third year. Apart from that, let's talk about this thing, postings over here. So in postings, we've got clinical subjects like medicine, surgery, OBJ bar, pediatrics. So if you didn't know, these are actually the four subjects that are present in our final year, apart from a few other subjects as well. But these are the four main ones. So this is my plan on how I'm going to tackle a few of these subjects in my third year itself. The subjects that I'll be targeting over here are surgery and medicine and a part of OBGY. So let us just consider it outside. Surgery and medicine, how am I going to tackle it? First of all, postings. Apart from that, I'm giving myself seven months to go through at least the first read of medicine as well as surgery. Now you might be thinking medicine is such a huge subject. How is Anuj going to read all of that in under seven months? So actually the thing is, first of all, this seven months is the seven months of the future. And in the past two or three months, I have been reading it. So that all accumulates to around 12 months of preparation of medicine, right? First of all, if you look at medicine, then 75% of the syllabus of medicine, not 75, a little bit less, is covered by these four subjects. So physio, micro, pharmac, patho, all of these, if you combine you will get something very very similar to medicine so it is something like this medicine is a compilation of all of these subjects now it also happens that I have also covered all of these subjects thoroughly so that means a huge chunk of me understanding a few basic concepts of medicine is covered now I know the basic concepts all I have to do is you know integrate it with what the medicine textbook is saying the book that I'm going to be using is Davidson as well as Harrison Harrison for the very very special topics Davidson for a maximum of my reading because that is what I feel will be very good for me after trying both the books I felt like Davidson is a much more uh, retainable book than Harrison so for medicine that is my plan and I'm going to be giving myself seven months to do this medicine thing apart from that Maro has got around 90 videos for surgery intact so surgery can be covered by watching three videos or two videos a day for three months and that should pretty much cover up medicine and surgery in seven months however I know that whatever plans that I'm going to make are going to be changing in the future depending upon how I'm interacting with the subject so these are the things that I could control but what about the things that I actually can't control that is postings so this is going to be starting next week and it will continue all the way till December or January I think and there will be different departments in which I'll have to visit but I'm genuinely super excited about this because first of all I'm going to get to meet a lot of my friends on a daily basis and second of all we'll have so much fun in the wards in the posting it's going to be awesome so this was my study plan but as as you all know there is a lot of things in my life that is apart from studies like this this whatever I'm doing right now this is apart from studies and this has to go on even when I am preparing for next or for any exam because I like doing this I like making videos and I feel like you guys enjoy watching them and if you do like my videos please consider subscribing because I promise to bless your feed with good content always and nothing crappy I also want to travel a few places this year hopefully uh, the third wave does not hit us Apart from that, there is a small possibility that I might start uploading twice a week starting from August, but that's still not clear because this mess can prevent me from doing a lot of things. What I have to remember is that this is the most important element in all of this equation. If I stop having fun, then I don't think it's worth it. And this is what I'm going to be aiming at this year and it's going to be awesome. So that was it about how I'm going to approach third year. Third year has begun. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. I promise it's always going to be awesome, enjoyable content to you guys. And thanks for watching. It's your boy Anuj. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.